a mask mandate for now, but it does seem like we're taking a step backwards in Philadelphia as COVID cases rise. Case in point, the city is resuming its regular COVID briefings. Great to have you with us here at 5. I'm Thomas Drayton. I'm Shana Humphreys. The city is also urging people to take increased precautions to protect yourself. Alex George is starting us off live tonight. Alex, what do we need to know? Well, Shana, first things first, masks are coming back. Now, the city is recommending them at this time. Again, this is not a mandate, but they said they're not opposed to rolling one out, and they can't say what will happen just as before, as we saw in the beginning of the pandemic. Things change very quickly, and right now they said if you're going indoors, they want you to mask up whether or not you're vaccinated. Cases of COVID-19 have doubled in Philadelphia from July 12th to the 19th. Then they doubled again by just August 1st. What concerns me isn't just the number of people who are testing positive or the number of people in the hospital. I'm concerned about how quickly those numbers have risen. The city says the Delta variant is now dominant, and that is what they believe is bringing up case counts. So now they're hoping to bring back some of those COVID precautions. Almost everyone in the hospital with COVID these days is unvaccinated. We know for a fact that wearing a mask when you're around other people in public, especially indoors, reduces your risk. Avoid crowded indoor public places. But will people who aren't vaccinated follow this guidance? Some of those people have their minds made up. I just don't trust it 100%. Mm. Like, I'm not going to put myself in the predicament of getting something that I don't 100% know about. Even after hearing the city's advice and rising case numbers, some Philadelphians don't feel the need to mask up. I haven't worn a mask the whole entire time. Acknowledging that COVID is still making its way around the city, Jamar says he's unvaccinated, won't get the shot, and he certainly won't be double masking. No, this is thin enough. It feels like it's like three masks on. Others like Caden here have been wearing two masks since the start of the pandemic. But I'm not taking the vaccine and I'm gonna stay masked up. But it's a real thing. It's an invisible monster. Sarah actually changed her mind and got vaccinated. I literally was one of them in the beginning. I didn't believe in this stuff. I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. But then I started seeing in my uncle and everything and I believed and I got vaccinated and it was the easiest thing in the world. Now she says the city's new recommendations seem like common sense. If masks are made to walk around and all that, why are they not made for concerts where we're close together? That makes no sense. If you're coming to an event, be ready to wear your mask. Now, Thomas, this concept of double masking is something that the city brought up just last week. They said if you're unvaccinated and going indoors, they recommend that you wear two masks. They also said that people they're seeing most now getting infected with COVID, that's young people who are unvaccinated, ages 22 to 30. Thomas? A year later, still trying to get the message out. Alex, thank you.